Well, I'm going to do a video follow-up here on my 30 by 50 Carolina carport. And as you can see, there it is. It's in place. Very happy with it in general. I got a couple things I'll just go over here real quick that would have been a little nicer had uh, Carolina carports been a little bit more communica communicative that it talked to me more. But I'll just explain. Oh, there's the concrete floor. The last video I did, I just had the rebar and stuff showing. There's the finished concrete floor. Had uh, three guys, four guys, help me pour the floor. Um, they were good finishers. All I did basically was labor. They did the, the placement and the finish work and stuff. Um, got a real, you can see there's a real nice, I hope it picks up. There's a real nice shine on that floor. They used a power trowel. And then I sealed it with a concrete sealer that I had. Um, uh, put a good heavy coat on it. Worked out really well. Got a good smooth floor. And then they saw cut it for me. Uh, and the only crack that, that I have so far is that center crack right, right here. This center crack is the only one that has cracked that shows on the outside. I'll show you when I walk around the building. Um, that is cracked. The rest of these haven't cracked. And I, I attribute that to the rebar being in there. Because uh, life experience, I've done you know a lot of concrete in my life. And rebar makes a huge difference. Here's what the outside on, on the right side looks like. Uh, now my issue with Carolina carports. I just wish they would talk to you more. They don't. When I ordered the building, they said you got to have the concrete floor in, and when you do, call us. It'll be eight weeks from the time the concrete floor. Well, I called them about the con about some dimensions and stuff. I wasn't sure what the dimensions were. They gave me no drawings, zero drawings. So when I call them, boy, I mean, I think in my last video, it was kind of like doom and gloom with them. And I thought, holy mackerel, you should be more supportive of your customers than that. So, anyway, I get the floor figured out, get it poured. I call them, I say, send them an email. I'm ready to go. Floor is ready. Let's go. Okay, about eight weeks, maybe. Might be 11 weeks. I don't know. If we get into wintertime, it might be after the first of the year. Who knows? You know, that's not the way to treat your customers. So, I wait the full eight weeks before I say anything to anybody. I call them on Tuesday of the ninth week. And I said, I'm waiting on my building. Any any kind of a date? Any? Oh, we don't know. It could be, you know, again, doom and gloom. Who knows when we can get there? We're trying. We're so busy. We're so... And I get it. This stupid COVID and, and everybody playing into this crap, you know, and using it as an excuse to slow down, not do any work. Whatever. And I know people aren't working. They can't find workers. I get it. Totally get it. But you got to support your customers. If you want customers to come back, if you want a good reputation, you got to work harder to maintain what you got so you have a, maintain a good reputation. I was in the building business. I know what it's like. Anyway, so that's Tuesday. So I hang up. I said to the girl on the phone before I hung up, I said, boy, I'm not happy with this, but it is what it is. So I just offered up a little prayer. I said, you know, Lord, help me out here. If I'm just, and, and if it is, calm my mind down. Just calm me down. I'll just wait it and wait. Lo and behold, Wednesday morning, the very next day, a different girl calls from Carolina Carport. Says, I'm calling to schedule your install on your building. Great. Terrific. I, you know, I, I was elated. No doubt about it. She said, they'll be there on Monday around noon. Well, this Monday of this week, at 9 o'clock in the morning, there comes the truck in the driveway with the building on it. I was thrilled. Two guys. I thought, that's a lot of building for two guys. They're going to be here for two weeks. He said, no, when I talked to the guy that, Emiliano, they're the guy that was kind of like the leader of the two of them, both excellent workers great workers good guys they i they could work for me anytime anyway um 
I said, how long? Oh, he said, probably two days. I said, two days? They stood those trusses in that building by hand. They had a jig that they used to stand it by hand, but I'm telling you what, those guys were hard, hard work. Now, when they started seeing them trusses, I jumped in and helped them because there was a couple steps to that procedure, and I took care of lifting the, they had a jig that they used, and I lifted the jig off once they got the trusses stood up and moved it out of their way so they didn't have to do some extra steps and stuff, but uh, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just talking here while I'm walking. Uh, but man them guys worked hard they started at nine o'clock when they got here and I mean they jumped out of the truck and went right to work worked till dark which is seven seven about seven o'clock come back Tuesday morning or when no that was Tuesday come back no that was Monday come back Tuesday morning and um, at seven o'clock they was here Jumped right out of the truck, went right to work, and they skinned this whole thing on Tuesday. Had it all framed up, all except for the roof on Monday. Skinned it, finished framing the roof, everything on Tuesday. They worked till 7, 7 o'clock. Didn't even stop for lunch. I kept saying, do you guys need something to eat? I'll go get it for you. Do you? No, nah, we're good, we're good. And finally, he did say, well, we could take something to eat. I brought it back to him at 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the evening. They didn't stop until they was completely done. Then they sat down to eat. Man, what ex what great workers those guys are. And good, a nice guy. Just nice guys. This is a, and, and they care about their work. Look how they mitered the corners here on the window trim. I used to square mine off. We cut this off square, let this extend out, and then to the edge here, and then we bend a tab back. But nice, nice work these guys do. They even mitered the corners on the on the box got or on the box Steve up there. Uh, just excellent. And they didn't miss a step. Them guys knew what one guy was doing. The other guy moved and did something different. If they didn't need to be together, I mean, it took two of them to lift the trusses in place. Uh, but what excellent workers these guys were. I just can't say, obviously, you can tell. I can't say enough good about them. But there it is. There's the inside den of the building. This is 30 by 50, 14 foot high, 412. I think that's a 412. might be a 312. But anyway, that's the roof pitch on it. I'm very happy with it. Going to have, like I told my wife, I said, boy, when you put the walls up, it sure starts to get small in here. But that's the way it is. I mean, I've been, I've, experienced that all my life. The one thing I did do, I went to Lowe's and bought this blue foam that's a seal, S-I-L-L, -L, sealer, S-E-A-L-E-R, for like when you do a house foundation or something, because the factory told me they put the metal, if you don't put anything under it, they put the metal right direct on the concrete. Well, what keeps wind for air from coming under, what keeps bugs from coming under, what keeps rain from blowing in under, so um, there's where, you know, I put that down to seal the bottom of it off, and uh, so I just have to go around and trim that all off and clean it up, everything, um, but I mean, overall, gee whiz, they did an excellent job, so that's, that's it, my only dig on the company is they need to communicate better. Uh, other than that, uh, I did my payments by wire transfer that's extremely secure through the bank. Cost you a couple bucks to do it, but big deal. It's totally, totally secure. Um, now, next step on this building here, let me move on. Um, I need to get an overhead door. I've got people coming to look. I've, that's, uh, 15 or 14 foot sidewall I've got 15 inches from the header to the underside of the truss so that gives me uh, plenty of room for an overhead door in there I, I should be able to use a standard lift um, I'm going to insulate it I've got people coming to give me prices on spray-in insulation or I got a neighbor no I was not really yet an exact neighbor but a guy over the hill here that built one of these exact same buildings and he took a two inch um, 
Armax with a silver facing on it, cut it to fit the square and, and, and wedged it in there, and that's how he insulated his building. Now that works as far as insulating the metal panel, but, uh, and I'll just, you know, I'll move it over here because the sun's shining on this side of the building. You can feel the heat right there. These are warm, not terrible warm, because it's not real hot today. Yesterday, the sun was out a little bit more, and uh, the, the metal front here, now this is pretty warm. Not warm to the touch, but it's warm that the heat's transferring through. So you could um, quite easily lose a lot of heat value out through that in, when you're heating your building, because the cold's gonna radiate in there. So that does need to be, so my theory was if I do the, the um, uh, foam board is put two inches of foam board inside here wedge it in and then put a whole layer two inch on the outside of this to cover these up too so I'd have four inches here and then have two inches over top of these to you know so I don't lose that th to create a thermal break so I don't lose that R value there which would really make a nice and if you use either a white or a silver face you wouldn't have to paint it Right now, everybody seems to be out of that stuff, so if I got the pink or the blue, I'd have to paint it white just to get some reflectability out of it, just to help. After the insulation's done, I'm gonna do my lighting. I, I nailed uh, the um, electric conduit coming in here. We got it set just right to go into the electric panel. So that's gonna work out. I'll put my electric panel up here and uh, wire it on, gonna run lights up here in the ceiling. I think I'm going to get those. They have a, a fold-out light. It screws into a regular light socket and then it has five LED lights that kind of fold down. You can point them. I'm going to try two of them up in the ceiling, see how they work. If they, and then I'll use four-foot LEDs like for my workbenches, which I'm going to set over there, and from, for some spot lighting here and there. And then just drop a, a, a four gang receptacle like three places across the wall on both walls maybe one on the end wall there that I'll do my welding right here in this corner because it's close to the electric service have my workbench and everything over there park some tractors back in here work on some tractors and equipment right down through the center here and you know life will be good that'll be it uh, I gotta get internet and I gotta get cable TV out here hey this is my man cave I <laughs> but other than that boy I tell you I'm extremely happy I feel extremely blessed to have this I put these not carport style buildings but I put pole buildings and, and red iron steel buildings up 20 years ago 22 years ago and I did that for 15 years when I was a younger man I just don't have the energy, the strength, everything anymore to do it myself. So that's why I did this. That was a deal. Carolina Carports would put it up. I bought it as an installed building. And they did a great job. Extremely, extremely happy with that part of it. Pricey, what are you going to do? I mean, everything's expensive nowadays. So, you know, concrete was $158 a yard. What are you going to Holy mackerel, I remember paying $60 a yard for concrete. And while I was at the auction here a couple weeks ago, I bought a, this come up, I bought a man lift. It works. Everything about it's good. It's got brand new batteries in it. It's wired, uh, some repair work, but it's done nice. This guy apparently sent it to the, to the uh, dealer to have the work done. It's not all uh, jewelry rigged or nothing. It's a real, real nice lift. And that works. So we, they used it. I let them use it to, you know, work on the building, put all their stuff, bracing and stuff. And when they run their siding, they used it to screw the tops of the siding and stuff. And, you know, but uh, these guys bring uh, those little giant ladders with them. And uh, uh, they wouldn't have needed that man lift. They'd have worked without it. And, you know, I remember those days running up and down ladders, how tired it makes you. And again, these guys just run and run all day long. Just two guys. Excellent work. Great guys. Great guys. Anyhow, that, that's my Carolina carport. Real happy with it. It's 30 by 50 by 14 foot high. I got 15 foot three clear down through the middle. That's big enough for anything I'll ever bring in here that, you know, 
like your round baler, you have to open the end gate up on them to work on them sometimes. That's plenty of room. I can open up an end gate. I can work on stuff. Uh, I can bring a small dump truck in here and tilt the bed if I have to and whatever else I get myself into because that's the kind of guy I am. Um, but, you know, again, I feel extremely blessed to be able to have this and it's paid for. That's a big thing. I've saved all my life wanting for this. And when I retired, I told my wife, tired of working under that maple tree out there. It's time to get inside. She agreed. So, yeah. When I'm dead and gone, she sells this place, she'll get the money back out of this. Easy. So, uh, that's it. Carolina Carport 30 by 50. If you're going to do it, you know, I, I, I would do it again. I say, I just wish, now knowing this, they don't communicate well, I would make sure I'd nail down, you know, give me a, a, a date that you're going to install. They probably wouldn't do it, but uh, they were pretty true to their word. They were nine weeks. So they were one week behind what they told me. You can't argue with that in this day and age. You can't argue with that at all. So, all right, I'm rambling on. Uh, Carolina Carport, buy it. Good people, did a good job. Their installers are, the crew that did mine is great. So, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this gives somebody a little bit of information, a little confidence. Hey, hit me up on Facebook or whatever if you want. I got questions about it. That's it. You know, extremely blessed. Thanks for watching. God bless.